Good morning. It's 7.30 and I'm about to go catch my train to Munich. So this morning at 8 a.m. I thought I was supposed to get on a train, right? Turns out I was supposed to be on a bus, but the train I did get on somehow was going the direction I needed it to go. But now I'm at some random train station in the middle of the Czech Republic. I know where I'm going now, but it's putting me three hours behind schedule, which could be worse. Also, there was this guy who started talking to me as I was walking to the metro station to get to the train station. He followed me from outside of the metro station into the metro station into the metro I was taking and into the train I was taking. I could not tell you what he was talking to me about because I was so focused on trying to figure out where I was going and actively ignoring him. But anyway, he followed me onto the train and was just standing because obviously he didn't have a ticket. I don't know why he was so persistent, but he went the opposite direction when he saw the ticket people coming. But they eventually found him, and before they took him off the train, he came back to me and asked me for money to buy a ticket. <laughs> After four trains, four trains, I'm finally in Munich. Okay, so I just checked into my hostel and I'm starving because once again I had little to nothing to eat this morning and now it's four o'clock. So I'm going to go find some food and then I'm going to explore Munich. walking around exploring Munich right now and I stumble upon a Michael Jackson memorial so that was interesting
Munich day two. I am visiting the Dachau concentration camp memorial site. So this part of the video is going to be serious, somber, but necessary. And there will be parts where it's horrific, but I think it's important that we learn about this so that history doesn't repeat itself. Concentration camps were a means of maintaining German domination in the occupied countries. Here they had the same objective as in Germany, rendering organized resistance impossible. What went on in the concentration camps? No films of what happened were shown in public. But in Dachau, the first concentration camp, which served as a model for the others, the SS took the photographs we see here. And everywhere the same principles obtained. An extreme military order designed to make life unbearable. Brutal punishments for any attempt to ameliorate these conditions. And work. Work to the point of death. In the last four months in Dachau, more than 13,000 people died. They died of hunger, tuberculosis, typhus. Some froze to death. Others did not survive the tortures to which they were subjected. In the month of May 1945, another 2,226 inmates died, but they died after they were liberated. Small wonder that those who survived had a tale that was too terrible to tell. How could they ever come to terms with what they had gone through? Nobody who was imprisoned in Dachau can ever forget. Those who survived swore that the time they had spent there should never be lost and forgotten that everything must be done to ensure that there can never be another Dachau. So Dachau concentration camp was the first of the concentration camps and it served as a basis for the ones that followed. It was an operation for 12 years and about every fifth prisoner died here. This is a memorial site now, but the main thing is this is a place of remembrance and learning. So there used to be 32 other barracks right here. <laughs> the barracks are where the prisoners slept and like most concentration camps they were extremely overcrowded. The prisoners were severely malnourished and were worked to the point of death. But now I'm in the area with the religious memorials. Yeah, this is the 14 where they shot people. So this is one of the two crematoriums that were built in this concentration camp. Over 200,000 prisoners were kept here. 
and over 40,000 of them were killed or died through the crematorium. Actually standing inside of the gas chamber and seeing the crematorium firsthand, I could just feel it in my chest. Just all of the horrific things that happened here. This was definitely a worthwhile trip, but knowing what went on here and in other concentration camps, just be aware and be prepared of what you will see. This camp was a place for inhumane conditions. Starvation, malnourishment, torture, human experiments, and we need to learn from it. Holocaust and the Nazi regime and that part of history just fascinates me because I don't know how human beings can do these horrific things to other human beings.